Are you an exporter thinking of applying for an export market development grant? Tier 3 of EMDG is for small and medium businesses that are already successfully exporting and want to expand their export promotional and marketing activities to new key markets. In this video, we'll outline the main criteria you must meet to be considered eligible for Tier 3. For a start, you need to understand what new key markets are. A key market is one you've never exported to before, and one that must also be on Austrade's list of identified key markets. For round four, this list includes 27 diverse economies. You'll find the full list of round four key markets in the EMDG grant guidelines or in Tier 3's eligibility page on the Austrade website. Take note too, we consider a key market as a single economy. So if you've exported anywhere within that economy before, you can't select it as your key market for a Tier 3 application. Do you fit the eligibility criteria so far? Well, there are still a few more requirements. When you apply for EMDG, you must have a valid Australian business number that you've been operating under for at least two years. You must also be considered an eligible Australian person. And as the EMDG rules say, that means you're either an individual whose principal residence is in Australia, a partnership that is Australian, or a body incorporated under the Corporations Act. You could also be an association or a cooperative that is incorporated under an Australian law, a trust that is Australian, that is the trustee or each trustee is an Australian person, or a body corporate established under an Australian law. To find out more about what makes someone an eligible Australian person, read the EMDG guidelines. They're on the Austrade website. Next on the checklist for eligibility, your business needs to have an annual turnover of more than $1 million and less than $20 million. You'll also have to show you have the capacity to spend at least $20,000 each financial year. This money is in addition to any grant money you may receive. It also must be your own money, so it can't be another government grant. We'll also need to see evidence of your recent export sales, which must align with the size of your business and the value of your product or service. Next up, you must be able to produce a high quality plan to market. In the plan, you'll show us how you're expanding your marketing and promotional activities. That is, how you'll be doing more than you've done before. Your plan to market must be specific to your business. You can't copy one from another business or another EMDG application or from a generic marketing plan. For best results, go to the Austrade website and see the tier three plan to market sample and answer all the questions. To be eligible for a grant, the EMDG rules also require you to be tax compliant. You can't have any outstanding disqualifying convictions or be under insolvency administration. And you must act professionally and ethically always. There's a time limit on your eligibility too. Businesses can receive EMDG across the various tiers for a total of eight financial years. Your limit to enter tier three grant agreements is now a maximum of four years. If you are confident you may be eligible for an EMDG grant, we recommend you get ready to apply well in advance. Check out the other videos that can help you get ready or read more on the Austrade website.